okay you welcome back my name is legendary boss 247 and in this video we shall be drafting a female trouser now in we want to be drafting a simple basic straight female trouser right um the first thing you want to do if you get your fabrics you have your measurement is to fold this way I'm going to show you how to do that using fabric now the simple reason why i'm using paper is for you to be able to see what i'm doing clearly right that is why i'm using a white paper but whatsoever you see me doing here tonight is what you're going to be doing directly on your fabric now let me show you how to fold if you're giving a fabric now you'll be giving basically any of these two fabrics maybe an english fabric like what i have here or the African print now the English fabric is a normal trouser length right it is called in trouser length sometimes in yard but most times in trouser length so if anyone wants you to make a trouser female trouser they would give you a trouser length of this fabric that is if they are using an English fabric now this fabric is 60 inches wide right 60 inches wide why the length depends on how much you are giving now you'll be giving an average of one trouser length what i have here is about eight trouser lengths right but the width is 60 so all you simply need to do is to fold right side to right side fold the width into two so we now have a width of 30 like so and then you place on your table and then you cut your trouser this way right also if you're cutting a trouser using any fabric that is stretchy you want it to stretch towards the sides not the length right so you need to take note of all of that and you can also observe your patterns as you can see this trouser has the, the fabric has stripes this way so it is okay for me to cut my trouser this way let's say this is the waist and then the ankle down there so we have the stripe falling all the way from the waist to the ankle straight like that right so that is how to fold for a by 60 i said fold your width into two and then we'll draft our trousers now that is for a by 60 fabric that is an english fabric what if you are giving an african print this is an african print here you'll be giving an average of two yards for an adult the width of an african print fabric is about 44 or 45 inches wide so you don't fold it savage to savage no you fold it this way like this so that you have the savage up here and then the other one down there you fold like this right so this will be the waist of my trouser and down here will be the ankle that is how to fold now you'll be giving an average of two yards for an adult for this right so whichever fabric you are using just fold as you have been shown then we proceed right so i'll be folding my fabric this is my fabric in my own case this white paper is my fabric so whatsoever you see me doing here please do it on your fabric now how do you fold in order not to waste your fabric you simply fold your tie divided by two plus one inch your tie circumference divided by two plus one inch we have some measurement here my tie circumference here is 24 divided by 2 gives me 12 plus 1 inch gives me 13 so if i fold my fabric here to give me 13 inches width then i can proceed i have 13 there right like this now this helps you to save your fabric right so you don't fold too much more than what you need right so this helps to save your fabric so let's say this is my fold of 13 which is gotten from my tie divided by two okay i have it about 13 there the first thing you want to do is to give half inch from this edge now this half inch is our side seam allowance the allowance you use to join the front of your trouser to the back by the side right so i'm giving half inch here. sometimes i recommend 0 0.75 that is three quarter of an inch for beginners right just for them to be on the safe side but then it depends on you whatsoever sewing allowance you want the choice is yours 
so this is my half inch you'd roll it all the way down half inch half inch and then half inch all the way down to the length you want to use and then the next thing we want to mark out is our trouser block trouser block how do you get the trouser block your trouser block trouser block is simply your hip measurement divided by four now here's our measurement in full we have a waist of 30 a hip of 40 waist to hip eight crotch depth 10 thigh circumference 24 we've said that before round knee circumference we have 18 waist to knee 21 inches round ankle 14 inches and the full length of our trouser is 40 inches now please all of these measurements are in inches right so we said to get our trouser block it is simply your hip divided by four what is our hip in this case 40 divided by four gives us 10. now watch how i mark my 10. you mark your 10 inches from this half inch here right this section here the half inch out here is for our sewing allowance so we'll not be doing anything there so my trouser block is 10 so i mark my 10 i mark my 10 I mark my 10 10 10 10 all the way down like this right so whatsoever you see me doing now you can proceed to be doing it on your fabric you can be pausing this video and playing it and be following up step by step with that you'll be able to easily draft your female fitted trousers right so we'll have this this is our trouser block. Now, the next thing we want to do is to bring out our waist to hip, waist to crotch, there, waist to knee, and the rest. Now, I want to let you know that we are making an English trouser. An English trouser that will have a waistband. Now, so for the fact that we are using a waistband, it's going to affect all our vertical measurements. When I mean the vertical measurement, I mean measurements like our waist to hip, waist to knee, and also our full length, right? Now, take for instance, our full length here is 40. But when I'm marking my full length on my fabric, I am not going to mark 40. And the simple reason is because I would want to use a waistband later on, right? So, we are bringing in an average waistband of 1.5. 